July 2022 speeds up the performance of simulation and dynamics caching, enabling artists to stay in the flow and iterate their workflow in real time at final frame quality. This year, we've continued with our investment into cache playback, with a ton of support for image planes and image sequences, as well as additional support for Bifrost. On top of this, we've added even more work in simulation and dynamics, enabling real-time playback and live scrubbing of dynamics and simulation so that you don't have to play blast your animation to see your character interact with your dynamics. We've got our octopus scene here with a target frame rate of about 24 frames a second. You can see we're hitting about 19 in wireframe mode. We bump it to shaded. We go down to about 11, 12 frames a second. And with our ideal viewport two settings for animation, ideally a final frame quality representation of your character and performance, we get down to about 11 frames a second. What we'll show you today is some ways to optimize your scenes using cache playback, which is this icon down below. So right away, I hit my cache playback button and you'll see my cache building up in my timeline. My FPS will go down quite, quite a bit while the cache builds up. But you can still see I get a decent playback while I do this. Now that my cache is caught up, I'm up to about 17 frames per second with full shade mode in, in viewport 2. Pretty good. But I think we can do better than this. We're going to switch to viewport software cache by right clicking on the cache playback button. So right now we're at about 16.9. We've switched specifically by right clicking again to the viewport software cache mode because we're, we want to see this in the viewport settings. One tip I can provide is, is to flush your cache to make sure you're, you're actually seeing the results of the changes you've made. Again, you'll have to wait for this cache to build up, but you'll know that your, your settings have taken effect. So we're a little bit higher, around 18, 18 and a half, 19. We're gonna to continue to optimize these settings and cache playback. So let's dig a bit into the details in our cache playback preferences. Here you can see we have cache playback on. We have a certain percentage of RAM allocated to our cache. This is tied into running out of RAM if you have really, really big scenes. In this case, we want to try cache smooth meshes and hit save. So we're going to hit play and see what kind of frame rate we get. So now you can see we're at our target frame rate, which is great. We've got full viewport settings, final frame quality, character running at essentially target frame rate. 